Hello and welcome to this edition of We Talk. We're Wei and Li in Beijing. Washington has been wielding a stick of financial sanctions against Moscow since Russia launched a military operation against Ukraine. Right.、Mm-hmm. One of the catastrophic moves was that it removed Russian banks from SWIFT.、Mm-hmm. It froze any Russian assets from quote touching the U.S. financial system. It seems the U.S. is trying to crush Russia's economy, right? Yes. Not only Russia,、mm-hmm. but the rest of the world has already felt the repercussions. Look at the oil and natural gas prices and、mm-hmm. high inflation in many countries. It's also weakening the already faltering global recovery from the pandemic. So can we put it this way: the United States, by exploiting the U.S. dollar's global dominance, is converting the international financial system into an international sanctions system. I agree.、Mm-hmm. Washington did the same to Iran, expelling Iranian banks from SWIFT and banning imports of Iranian energy. Even now, the Iranian economy is still. Struggling. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. To me, America's messing around, is sending a signal like this. If you don't listen to me, I can kick you out of the global financial market. But do you think it can always be a big bully like this?、Mm, I don't really think so.、Mm. In recent years, de-dollarization has been accepted as a rational option by more and more countries since the 2000s. You mean the dollar's position as the world's dominant reserve currency has been going downhill? Yeah. Well, according to、um, Data from the International Monetary Fund、mm-hmm. in 2021, the dollar accounted for less than 60% of international foreign currency reserves, while in 2000, the number was more than 70%. That's really a big drop.、Mm-hmm. The eroding dollar dominance clearly shows the shrinking trust the world holds towards Washington. I see. People with basic economic knowledge know that the value of a currency rests on people's trust、mm-hmm. and its issuer, right?、Mm-hmm. Typically, a country's government. Yeah. Clearly, the world's trust in the U.S. dollar and a global financial transaction system underpinned by the dollar is fading, fading away. away.、Yeah. Well, by the way, I think we've all played the game of Jenga. Yeah, sure.、Mm-hmm. Well, this actually feels like Jenga. You know, the、mm-hmm. tower of the、uh, dollar dominance is still standing,、mm-hmm. yet some of its blocks are being taken away. So you think we'll have a complete collapse、mm-hmm. if Washington continues down the wrong and destructive path? Well, that's all for this edition of We Talk. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time.